On today's panel, he's a writer, producer, and hey, 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 here he is in the city of Hollywood, the city of stars, movie cars, and David Hollywood Marker. Oh, wow. He's an actor who always asks, how are you going to do it if you really don't want to dance? Get your back up off the wall for Craig. Get down, Frank. Wow, I didn't know I asked that all the time. She's the creator of Nerdtainment, and I've seen her once, or maybe twice. I'm seeing her right now. And the only thing I can say is that she's very nice. It is Sarah, fresh like produce, at Wood. <laughs> and finally, there's a party going on right here, a celebration to last throughout the years. So bring your good times and your laughter, too. We're going to celebrate with our host, Douglas Sarine. Thank you, Sarah, and welcome, everyone, to Sight Unseen, the coolest of online guessing games, where our Poughkeepsie panel attempts to guess the purpose, aims, and possibly even the names of unique URLs. As always, they can only ask yes or no questions, and they get as many yes answers as they can string together before they get 10 no answers and are defeated by the internet. Welcome, panel. Hey, Poughkeepsie hey. panel. All right, uh, let's figure out what our panel is going to be named today as I jump over here to this uh, random team name generator. Today, the panel will be known as the Headless Mad Blitz. <laughs> A bullet love it. coming at you. It. It's going to feel uh, a bit mad, y'all. I don't love headless, I think. Oh, I, I know. I'm having head. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I find headless to be a novelty in this world where we just see everybody's head constantly on our mm. Zoom calls and, sure. and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe headless is like, all right, great. For finally, for once, I'm not going to look oh, at some new. Yeah. That's how I feel on the, da on the daily, headless. Like, there's <laughs> yeah. nothing going you feel on headless? Here. Like, I thought I had a thought. <laughs> the headless mad blitz is going to do a little team bonding right now with mm -hmm. a game just called Real or Fake. I'm going to describe a product by a well known brand. And you just have to tell me if it's a real product or a fake product. Okay. Mm -hmm. First off, great Coca-Cola taste blended with rich, luxurious coffee in new Coca-Cola with coffee. Yes, real or fake? it just came out real. I just saw oh. it, guys. I hope All it's right. not. I hope, <laughs> I hope it's not. Oh, guys, it is it real. Is. It is real. That's real? real? Yeah. Yeah. You know, there was. A, yeah. I was on a on a flight once, and a guy did that. He he ordered a coffee and a, and <gasps> a coke, and then he did, and I I sat and looked at him. I was just like, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And then oh. he made them for the health conscious woman looking for a healthy snack. Try new Greek yogurt from the most trusted fashion and entertainment magazine for women. It's cosmopolitan yogurt. No, I believe it. No, I think oh, it's no. real. You're outnumbered, David. All right, fine. It's fake. I, th I think fake. it's fake, definitely. <laughs> All right, guys. No, Cosmopolitan Yogurt <gasps> was real. It was a real David thing back in, right. the, wow. in, the, in the 90s. From the Italian brand and manufacturer of luxury sports cars and SUV comes a shaft of sheer elegance that evokes effortless style. It's triple distilled Lamborghini vodka. Oh, that feels so elite and luxurious it type does. rich illegal? people stuff. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so you can drink while you drive. <laughs> sure, sure. Don't. What do you guys think? Don't. Nerdtainment does not recommend drinking and driving. No, no. I don't Neither know. Neither does real? the law, but <laughs> it's real. You think real? Should we say, I real? Would say real? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's weird enough. Yeah, there's Lamborghini <laughs> vodka. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, and only yeah. rich people drink. Huh. How irresponsible is that? It's truly. Super. This flip flop lined with high quality, durable synthetic grass, so you can mm -hmm. always feel like you're walking on cool, fresh lawn. Go no. green this summer with our grass flip flops. <laughs> oh, no. That sounds like somebody d would do that, though. Oh, it sounds no. like Douglas would do that. <laughs> Just Douglas. I think okay. those are real. I think I've seen something about that. Oh, really? Oh, well, I if think you've seen so. Something. I don't know. Like, it feels like someone who doesn't like to wear shoes. They want that feeling of going barefoot. Just so don't wear shoes then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go with David this time since we did All right, it last. we'll go with fake. Do a guy with Craig. What? There oh, is. <laughs> that's real? Come yeah, on. That now. is so People. dumb. Green Giant adds just the right amount of flavor to our lightly sweetened blends. So you can fill your plate with delicious vegetable and live a balanced lifestyle. Green Giant Simply Sweet. Broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, and caramel sauce. Oh. Ugh. That's a weird mix. I hope that's fake. That's gross. <laughs> fake? I'm going to say fake. 
That is fake. I just made oh, that one. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Harlequin, the leading publisher of romance novels, has entered into a meaningful relationship with NASCAR. Racing Hearts and Revving Engines, it's NASCAR-themed romance novels featuring cameo appearances by Carl Edwards. He is cute. I believe it. I, I believe totally it. believe it. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Well, that seems like a match made in heaven. If they aren't I, working together, they should. They should. Yeah, because it's like there's no crossover really in the fandom, I would think. So, and NASCAR is a huge, you know, huge. population of people mm. who pay attention and, to it. So then Harlequin, you know, gets this whole new audience. And the, they crush on those drivers. I I'm think all it's in. I don't know. I'm outvoted here. I, I don't yeah. believe it. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go with the panel. I'll go with the panel. Okay. All right. Yeah. Speed uh, dating. Oh my god. This is this is one of the sixteen novels that was put out. Sure. I'm going to read one of these. I've got <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> it's just it's research, David. I'll just let you know how it goes. You know, guys, yeah. they're great. You Give kick back with a glass of Lamborghini vodka, and you just, <laughs> uh, uh, here's your last one. Kentucky Fried Chicken has taken finger licking good to a literal extreme with edible nail polishes. Fried chicken flavored polish in fun, fashionable shades. Available in original recipe and hot and spicy. No, stop no. it. Because you no. said edible nail polish. And I don't think people will eat the nail, like do you eat That's the nail defeats polish? the purpose. You're supposed to have it on. Yeah. I'm no, gonna say, I'm gonna go with no. Okay, we're saying fake, even though we're it sounds fake. kind of real. We're saying fake. <laughs> really, edible nail polish sounds sounds real to you, Sarah? <laughs> I was All gonna right. read my NASCAR book while I painted my Kentucky Fried <laughs> Chicken. And you can do that, guys, because <gasps> it did exist. No. What? <laughs> Look yeah, at guys. that. Why are you even oh apply? Oh my God. Yeah. Just you drink know. it. Uh, yeah. It comes in uh, hot and spicy or uh, original recipe. And uh, KFC, finger licking good, edible nail polish is a real wow. thing. <laughs> wow. It's awkward because you got to kind of flip it around. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. Like, it's not, you got to kind of flip it around to do it. That's weird. Or... Right, right. You have to go like this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> The GIFs well, of us and our fingers. <laughs> Let's get started with our first website. Our first website is for an activity. Your hint is that one traditional use of this activity or one pr particular purpose of this activity was to qualify men for work on fishing boats. So we're going to give our panel a wild guess just based on that. Uh, Sarah, what activity would qualify for men for work on fishing boats? Net throwing. Net throwing. Toss, sure. Toss that sure. Net. Yeah, casting a net, sure. David? Um, holding your breath underwater. Holding your breath underwater, sure. Because in case the boat doesn't work, like yeah. a boat's supposed go. to. Uh -huh. There you go. Craig, uh, what do you think this activity is? Catching lobsters? Catching <laughs> lobsters, sure. Those are all things maybe associated with fishing boats, uh, but they're not the activity that we're looking for. Sarah, we're gonna start with you. Uh, with our questioning about this activity. Is this a solo activity that one person would do on their own? Yes, it is a solo activity. Is it on land? Yes, activity? it is on land. Oh. Is this activity mostly a arm hand activity? Are we doing yes. something with our upper? Yeah, I'd say so. Section? An arm hand activity, yeah. Uh -huh. Just like this, that's, is it like I, this? That's, this yeah, it? arm hand is definitely Important, <laughs> very important to this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but just to, just for clarification, how do arms and how do arms and hands work, Sarah? Just, just for <laughs> well, clarification. Sometimes yeah. like this, but also like this. So you right. know, there's wax on, and then there's wax off. You know. Oh, is there throwing <laughs> involved in this activity? Douglas? No, there is not any throwing involved with it. One down, nine to go, David. It is a physical activity. Yes. Okay, activity. is pulling involved? No, I'm going to say pulling is not involved. Mm. Two down, eight to go, Craig. Does this have to do with seasickness? No, it does not have to do with seasickness. Three down, seven to go, Sarah. Is this activity involve holding something in your hands? Is your yes. hands holding a prop of sorts? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we still do this activity to this day? Yes. Is the prop 
You know what? I love just working with actors because <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> everything is a prop. It doesn't matter if it's used by any real person. Can you hand me that prop? You mean the blender? Yes, that's the, <laughs> the, the prop that uh, that dices things up. Does the item that I'm holding while I'm doing this activity, is the item doing something like a blender? If I were holding a blender, is the item doing it as mm. opposed to I'm doing the activity with the thing? Yeah. I think, uh, so I'll say to your yes, no question, right. no, the item is not, not doing, doing the thing. Four down, six to go, David. Is the point of this activity to like measure your strength? Yes. Are you lifting something? Yes. Is it heavy? Yes. Is it bigger than a bread box? Again, I don't know where your bread box versus my bread box, but I'll say yes. Okay. Okay. Does it have a specific weight? No, it does not have a specific weight. Five down, five to go, Craig. Is this item a cage? <laughs> no, this item is not a cage. Oh, Before question. I leave you, what do you mean, is this item a cage? Like he's talking about like a lobster yeah, cage. You're lifting, yeah. like a lobster oh, cage. Yeah. okay. I thought it was like, you got to lift a cage with a bobcat in it. <laughs> <laughs> like the crab cages that they lift. Yeah. yeah. And they're right. crab fishing. What are those called? They're called lobster cages and crab cages. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> he said the exact right word. Uh, they're, uh, they're called props. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lobster props. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Six down, four to go, Sarah. This item that they're lifting, is it a item that we use for other purposes? The softest of yeses. Oh, wow. So does this item occur naturally in the world? Yes. Okay. So are the is this activity lifting rocks? Yes. This activity <laughs> is lifting rocks. <laughs> Way to go, Sarah. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking. That's how it's done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll introduce you to the site for natural stone lifting. It's obvious, <laughs> of course. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, this is oldmanofthestones.com. Oh, no, and what people do is I've they go around uh, Scotland or anywhere and they lift up stones. <laughs> sure. Huh. But yeah, I, I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know there's a yeah. website for it. <laughs> you guys to lift up legs. Yeah, these, I feel yeah. <laughs> his low back is really worrying me. Yeah. These are specific stones. Okay. So like well, that they... stone is called the Dalwini stone. And people, anybody can go and lift up that stone. Should be this called is, a dinosaur egg stone. Mm -hmm. This is the Newt, Newton Moore stone. And people can go lift up that stone. Huh. Oh, also... the Wallace Petting Stone, my favorite. This is how you lift up each stone. So like oh. that's how you lift it up. You're... Oh. Very incorrectly is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like that's how you lift. Oh, what? and then you waddle it up and then you you got to get under it. I see what we're doing here cuz they are obviously very heavy. And then once you get under it, you can get <laughs> It looks like they're making it harder than it is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Two stones combined weigh 733 pounds. Oh have, my god. I have calluses just watching this video. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go around the horn. What's the heaviest stone? you think you could lift? Maybe a 60 pound rock is like my-, my well, See, limit. I think I could do a hundred pounds. I thought- I thought I a hundred. I think I could pick yeah. up a, a, a like a, a dog that weighed that much. I, think. I got, I got yeah. a bad lower back. I, I hurt my lower back and mm. I don't I don't think I can do more than <laughs> maybe 60, maybe 60. Sarah, what's no. the heaviest stone you think no, you could lift? No, our dog is 20 pounds and that's about as heavy as I would like to pick up. So I'll take a 20 pound stone. I'll say this, wow. I've never looked at a stone and been like, man, I want to lift that. No. I know. <laughs> I always feel like I always feel like that's that's good where it is. It's supposed yeah, to be there. there. Look at where that stone ended up. <laughs> yeah, right. Good on you, stone. But yeah, <laughs> right there where you live. Yeah. For something with no legs to get here, you deserve right. it. Well done, your... headless mad blitz. Hello. Oh, yeah, look at yeah. that. Guys are off to a great start. Mm. For our next website, we're looking for a unique facility. A unique facility. Your hint is that this facility provides one automated service to people. Give our panel a wild guess based on that. David, what automated service do you think this facility provides? Automated service? It delivers you a cupcake. Oh yeah, a cupcake machine, of, of course, yeah. Craig, what do you, what uh, automated service do you think this facility provides? He kind of stole mine. I was gonna say food, but let me think. What automated service does this do? 
Well, there's other foods besides cupcakes. I just want to be clear yeah, for our I, audience. There's fingernail polish. You there's fingernail polish? Yeah. Cupcakes. <laughs> I think there was a third thing, but I forget what it is now. I'm going to say massages. Oh, massages. Oh. Yeah. That's, a, that's something. Sarah, what do you think? Key cards. Swipes. <laughs> swiping. Mm, key I think he got it. Key card, key card swiping. <laughs> and a, very facility, unique, that a facility unique. that just swipes yeah. key cards. Yeah. <laughs> It's unique. For you. That is that is very unique. And I bet there are facilities that do all of those things, but they're not the specific airport. facility that we are looking for here. We're going to start our questioning with you, David, to discover this unique facility. Is this facility a building? Yes. Can you go inside it? No, you cannot go inside it. One down, no. nine to go. Craig. It's the automated service regarding self-care. No, I would say the automated service is not regarding self-care. I need a yes. I need a yes from you. Yes. Yes. At some point in life. <laughs> I need a yes from you at some point, okay? Is something uh, made inside the facility? No, there's nothing made inside the facility. Three down, seven to go. David. Does the facility give you something that you didn't have before? No, the facility does not give you something you didn't have before. God. Four down, six to go. Okay, so this is the question that I wrote down. I wanted to specify. So we can't go inside, but are there workers inside? Don't ask that, Craig. Talk to the group. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Sarah's going to feel bad. <laughs> okay. I think he said humans or people don't go inside. Oh, so that people. would be workers. Okay. Okay. So it's a fully automated facility. Yeah. The facility provides an automated service. And there are not people inside. There are no people inside. Craig, you just got a yes. Just that was a yes. I just want you to. So yes, there are not enough people <laughs> inside. Next person, please. Yeah. yeah. Does this have to do with ticketing of any kind? I think so. Like uh, getting like getting a ticket or giving a ticket. Yes. Uh, related to this automated service. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Are you buying something? You're bu you're buying the service, so yes, you're buying oh. the service. Is this a booth, like a booth, like a ticket, to a booth or whatever that you would pay? Like, is it like a, a standing booth that you walk up to and, or like, for instance, an ATM? Yes. Okay. There we go. Wow. It's a booth wow. of sorts. It's a kiosk <laughs> of sorts. Oh, a kiosk. That's, That's a great good. word, Sarah. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with parking? Yes. Oh. Is it an airport kiosk? No, it is not an airport kiosk. Five down, five to go, Sarah. I think that this is a parking kiosk that when you pull up into a parking lot, you say, you look that you're in parking space number 13 and you go over and you pay that you're at 13. So there's not anyone in this kiosk -y booth. And now you just need to know more? If that's your yes, no question. I'm going to call that your yes, no question. I'm going to say, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> the situation six okay. down out, so, David. Go. Sarah, you, don't, yeah. you don't pull up to space 13 <laughs> and go <laughs> tell the machine you're in space 13 yeah okay. all right uh david okay i would like to know if this is a parking kiosk for a specific kind of vehicle yes is this vehicle oh. not a car yes is this a vehicle that operates on the water no, it is not a vehicle oh, wow. that operates on the water. Seven down, three to go, Craig. Is this vehicle space worthy? No, uh, this vehicle oh. is not space worthy. Eight down. Does this vehicle have wheels? Yes. Do humans sit inside and ride in this vehicle? No, humans do not sit inside and ride this vehicle. Hmm. Nine <gasps> down. One to go, David. I'm talking to the panel, you, Douglas. Yeah, so butt out. Douglas, um, yeah. I have two thoughts. Okay. I'm thinking it might be a bike, but you don't okay. sit inside a bike. You sit on a bike. Or maybe it's like a stroller. I was thinking like the bird scooters type thing. Oh, a scooter. That's a good one. Does this vehicle typically have two wheels, Douglas? Yes. Okay. 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 And do you operate it with your feet? Yes. Is it a scooter parking kiosk? No, it is not a scooter oh. parking kiosk. 
You had it right when you were thinking about it. Was it a bicycle? Is it a bike? Yes, it is a bicycle, uh, par- automated bicycle parking facility. And what uh, you do is you pull up to one of these things and you put your bicycle in and it goes into this huge thing that can oh, go wow. to another dimension. And it goes into <laughs> another dimension. It, it works like this. You put it in there and it goes into one of these things. Where are wow. these things? I've seen these before. And then it like rotates it up when you come to get it. An IC tag attached to the front part of the bicycle. Oh, oh my goodness. We don't have these in America, do we? I don't think so. This is amazing. <laughs> David, you were so close. So close. I shouldn't have told Douglas to butt out. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is not like a rent a bike. This is like a rent a spot, basically. Whoa. Yeah. Just or parking facility. Yeah. You That's put your bike in there and then it. That is so cool. That is. That's amazing. Eight and seconds later, seconds. there's your bike. Eight seconds, wow. wow. I wonder if ever the wrong bike comes out and you're like, uh, excuse yeah. me, <laughs> uh, it ate my bike. Right. Mm, good job. We were so close. We were close. So close. Oh. We're moving on to our internet speed round where we're going to test Ew. your internet speed by putting 120 seconds on the clock and you just keep throwing questions at me. Nose don't matter. Turns don't matter. Ask me questions. I will do my best to answer as many questions as I can. Uh, We're looking for a unique Instagram. And this gram has 7.4 million followers and is simply a dude with something. What is that something? A sign. Is it a sign? It's a dude with a sign. Boom. You guys got it. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? That was a bad blitz. In one, <laughs> that was. In one second. That's a record. Wow. 100% a record. <laughs> no, <laughs> no notes. <laughs> no notes needed. Craig, oh do you God. subscribe to Dude with a Sign? Are you I, a I follower? Do. I do. What? I do. It's wow. an Instagram of a dude. Oh, I've seen I this I guy. Yes, yeah. of course. Dude with sign. <laughs> yeah, sure. Is it the same guy? It it's is. Guy. It's the same okay. guy with the signs. Different signs. It's, yeah. With different signs. Uh, with and different his signs, signs are very witty usually. Yeah, Sarah, do you think uh, this sign is witty? Oh, Said. no. Rude. Seinfeld yeah, is way better than <laughs> <laughs> What made you follow this uh, site? I, there, somebody has shared a post that he had, and I thought it was very witty. Yeah. So basically, uh, peer pressure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he certainly has been doing his work during the pandemic, going out there with his mask and, and holding up signs to keep people cheered up, and then doing uh, fun little things like... Uh, oh, very, <laughs> great. Uh, very great. Very current. Great. Do we agree with this? <laughs> I don't, I don't agree with this. We don't. We don't agree with that. What, what, what do you Great. think is the best Christmas movie? Elf. Elf, hands down. Dude, I'm so glad that you said that because That's I agree. That's a good one. I yeah. agree. Good I panel, agree. guys. Good panel. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are we all in agreement that Elf is the best Christmas movie? I think I do it? agree with that. Wow. Craig went from like, Re- no, no, insane. no, to immediately correct in one second. Yeah. yeah. I intimidated Douglas into giving me some yeses. Uh-huh. So yeah. <laughs> I was still starting with, is it a prop? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For this round, our panel tries to guess a famous person or collection of people living or dead that has an official website. Uh-huh. We offer no clues. Craig, we'll start our questioning with you to discover the website of this famous person. Is it Betty White? <laughs> no, it is not Betty White. <laughs> One down, nine you to tried. go. I'm yeah. Off the I'm off the you won't take that into that. account. But yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually try to narrow it down. Is uh, this person a female? No, this person is not a female. <sighs> Two down, eight to go, David. Is this person alive? Yes, this person is alive. Is this person an entertainer? No, this person is not an entertainer as described on their Wikipedia. Three down, seven to go, Craig. Has this person had in the past a reality TV show? No. Four down, six to go, Sarah. Is this an author? Is a writer? They have a book out, so yes. Okay, so they've written, but it doesn't sound like that's their like main profession. Okay, yeah. is this man a expert in some field? Yes. Does he host a show, a television show? Yes. Does he host a show that is about his trade, his expertise? 
Yes. Is his expertise cooking? No, his expertise yeah. is oh, not cooking. Five was, down, five to go. David. <laughs> I was going to pull a Craig and be like, is it Alton Brown? But <laughs> <laughs> is his expertise politics? No, his expertise is not politics. Six down, four to go. Craig. Narrow it down. It's good. Is this a white man? Yes, this okay. is a white man. Is his expertise sports? No, his expertise oh. is not sports. Seven down, three to go. Sarah. What? Yikes. Is his ex oh God. Is oh, his God. expertise home and lifestyle? <laughs> home lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> No. no, his expertise is not home lifestyle. Uh, I think you were looking for anyone in like a Love It or List It or a HGTV. David Brown's Bed or mm -hmm. HGTV, right? Is he over 40? Yes. Is he currently the host of a show? You know what? I'll give you the softest of yeses on that. Softest of yeses. So he's not currently the host of a TV show. Oh. But he... I'm glad I didn't put TV in that question then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, he has a podcast. If, if yep. I think I, I can give you I enough. understand. I can give you that I as understand. I understand. So. Is his expertise something in academia? Yes. Uh, write that down, Craig. Write that down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is it based in sciences? Yes, it is. Is it Bill Nye? It is Bill Nye. <laughs> uh, we did it. Talking about guys, welcome to the official website of Bill Nye, the Science oh, Guy. Bill Yay! Nye. Science, y'all, importante. It's not what we think of first, but it's very yeah. important, and we do. <laughs> he, he, did there used to have a, he did used to have a show. And what's great about his original show is on his website, you can access all of the episodes. Of, you know the content oh, about. Oh wow. Oh, he does amazing. have a podcast. I didn't know he had a podcast. That's great. I didn't either. Did any of you watch a Bill Nye show when you were growing up? Bill Nye the Science oh, Guy? Yeah, I, wa Bill I watched it. You Teachers did? Teachers would just like play that. an episode of Bill Nye as like the lesson for that day, I remember. Oh, wow. Really? At, at, at yeah. school? Uh-huh. Oh. You can also watch all of these videos where he does all these home demonstrations for people that are kids that are stuck at home right now. Oh, oh good. You see, you got Instagram... Twitter, Facebook, and then this little one, that's the Planetary Society. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Major social network. And of course, guys, he's on the talk. Oh, oh my god. Gotta be. I'm he's so great. I'm not on the ticket the tickety talk talk. Uh, David, you're not on the tickety talk. I certainly am not. Craig, are you on? I am not on the tickety talk. Oh, look at us. I'm one of those people who buys into the conspiracy theory that like China's using it to, you know, <laughs> to buy on us and steal our personal information. <laughs> uh huh. Not that I have anything worth stealing. Yeah. Right? What are they, what are they going to do with that personal information? <laughs> yeah. That's what I always say. You can you can spy on me. I'm okay with Big Brother. I got nothing to hide. I'm pretty boring. Uh -oh. I have plenty to hide, guys. I have so oh. much to hide. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Bill does a little Yay. of everything. We yeah. did it. You guys. Yes. This was good. We were three for four, and I think we were so, so close, close to that four. Fourth. Yeah. There may even be debate in the I'm comments gonna... on whether or not uh, you got that, but I'm going to say that the headless mad blitz went three for four today. The score today was internet one. Mm -hmm. The headless mad blitz three. That's our show. A special thanks to all the websites we mentioned and to the internet for being the 17-year-old aristocrat who falls in love with a poor artist aboard the luxurious, ill-fated RMS Titanic. Mm. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and Patreon entertainment. You won't regret it, and we certainly appreciate it. For Craig Frank, David Marker, and Sarah Atwood, I'm Douglas Sarine. May all of your search results always be optimal.